After a long night of excitement and a lot of teams making big moves after last night's 2021 NFL Draft, there's a lot of conversations to be had. And I'm here with Cam Erickson, fellow member of the Lobby Observer, and we're going to talk about our takes about what we think teams did and if they made the right decisions or not. Cam, start us off. What do you think about a particular pick? I was just really surprised with a couple picks, you know. I was surprised that... It's a gutsy pick for the Jets to take Zach Wilson at number two, you know. Um, I thought Fields was going to go a little bit higher. I, I didn't think Trey Lance was going to go that low to that. Uh, I can't talk. Quick to the 49ers, you know. A lot of surprises. The biggest surprise I had was the Cowboys taking uh, Michael Parsons at, to the Cowboys. I don't remember what pick exactly, but... That was my biggest surprise. I don't feel like they need a linebacker right now. But what about you? How are you feeling? Well, like you were talking about with the whole quarterback draft class, I thought that this quarterback class was really strong. I thought it went really deep in, and a lot of teams had a lot of guys that made a huge impact on the college level. One guy that I think especially is going to make an immediate impact is Justin Fields. Um, I think the Bears haven't had a serviceable quarterback in the longest time. I mean, passing up on Patrick Mahomes before, taking Mitch Trubisky, I just feel like they're in desperate need of somebody to take the helm and just lead the team. And I just think that Justin Fields could be that guy for them. Uh, another person that I think um, really might have frustrated a lot of Falcons fans is Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Uh, a lot of people said, we're tired of being mediocre. Um, one of the common jokes made with the, uh, the Falcons organization is, They'll pick up a new guy and people say, oh, five and 12 never looked so good. But you gotta build up the defense because as some great, some great sports heroes have once said, defense wins championships. So if you have no defense, you have no championships. Cam, what do you I have to say about that? I definitely hear you with the Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons take. I understand that their defense has been lacking. But Kyle Pitts is one of the most he has one of the highest ceilings in the draft. I feel like that's a very good upside. If you're going to take an offensive player in the draft, at least they didn't take a quarterback. That would have been really stupid. But Kyle Pitts is very talented. A lot of potential. Uh, one of so, the last things I want to know. I want, I want to talk to you about something, Jared. Obviously, everyone who watches Lavio knows you're a diehard Green Bay Packers fan. Something happened last night with Aaron Rodgers saying he didn't want to return to the Packers. What are your feelings? What do you think he's going to do? What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was not in a very good spot last night when that information was released. But um, you got to remember, Aaron Rodgers has just completed the first year of a four-year contract. I mean, the ball is really in the Packers' court right now. They have to make, if anything, you got to make the best quarterback talent of our generation happy. No matter what he can do, you got to put him on a pedestal for that organization. So I feel like they got to make something happen. They got to make it fast. They can't lose the cornerstone of their of their franchise in the last 15 years. So I think that right now it should be Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. He's the man, the MVP, the GOAT proclaimed by a lot of other people, including myself. Who did the Packers take last night? Uh, they took a cornerback, Stokes. Um, Eric Stokes. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted to see a wide receiver taken, but I do not like the front office moves made by Brian. I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you. Won't. Why did you want a wide receiver? You got a couple. You got a couple good ones. Uh, you got to oh, remember uh, one of the best wide receiver in the league. Contracts are important, and a lot of those wide receivers' contracts are working their way out. So they got to prepare for the future more than they got to prepare for the present. But this guy, he can fly. So we'll see what type of impact he can make. Last thing, I want to get a yes or no answer from you, Cam. Do you think that Jalen Waddle should have been taken before Devonta Smith? And yes, absolutely. You think so? Uh, that's a good question, Jared. Um, it's a it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But I think Devonta Smith is one, obviously one of the most talented wide receivers in the in the draft, and um. Jalen Waddle is obviously just more developed because he's a bigger guy. Obviously, Devontae Smith is probably like 5'10", 170, which isn't really big enough to play in the NFL, but NFL uh, strength, 
strength coach. It's what, it's what they do, you know. They're going to develop him. He's going to be fine. It's not going to be another Henry Rogue situation. So, we'll see. All right, well, it's been good talking to you about this draft, Cam. Uh, always something good to say when I'm interviewing you about football, <laughs> right? So, this has been Jared and Cam from the Lobby Observer, signing off.